Uh oh, it's that time again. It's time for Mitch the Expert. Mitch the Expert. I got a rather interesting message recently that uh, I've seen a million times, and I think it's about time I bust into this question and clear the air once and for all. Dear Mitch, how much does penis size really matter? And do male enhancement pills actually work? You're about to find out. First things first. Does penis size matter? In a word, yes. However, before you go feeling bad about it, here's a short list of things that matter to potential mates, both male and female. Everything. Yes, everything. Let me give you a few brief examples of what I mean when I say everything. I have a male friend of mine who, no matter how hot a chick he's trying to woo is, if he sees her pick up dog shit, it's off. I've seen pictures. The dude's serious about this. I have a female friend of mine who hates males in sandals to such a degree that a friend of hers recently got broken up with by a guy who once wore sandals and all she had to do was remind him that one day he wore sandals and it was over. I have about a hundred female friends that if they see a male wearing socks and sandals won't ever talk to him again. Brad fucking Pitt could be walking down the street. Socks and sandals, blacklist forever. I myself have some weird shit like that. I don't like it when chicks belch. Totally grosses me out. Flatulence? Same thing. Feces? Even worse. In fact, I like to pretend that when chicks are in the bathroom, they're just thinking about me and rubbing one out. I realize that's probably not what's really going on, but it's a nice thought and it keeps me comforted. I had one ex-girlfriend who, after we broke up, we continued to fuck here and there. However, one day she left the deuce floating in the toilet. Guess what? That was the end of the post-breakup booty calls. There's women out there who no doubt look at me and go, He's alright, but I don't like those fucking spikes in his face. Or those giant earplugs. Or his fancy red spiky mohawk. I was a smoker until a month ago. I was a smoker for, I don't know, about 15 fucking years. So there's a lot of women out there who would never talk to a guy like me because I was a smoker. But now I'm a non-smoker. So that means there's other women out there who are smokers that think, I don't like him. He doesn't even smoke. You know what? That's just how I am. If you don't like it, there's the fucking door. But wait! I hear you all collectively yelling, What about the things we can't change? Well, you've got two options there. You can either embrace it, or focus on other shit. Now, I'm a big believer in humility, and while I might be Mitch the Expert, I'm not Mitch the perfect fucking human being. This is why in the last Mitch the Expert, when I talked about love, I didn't have a problem showing you pictures of me and my now ex-girlfriend kissing. It was a little uncomfortable for some of my friends, but to me it was worth it. Because not only was it funny, but it showed humility. And I like to humiliate myself because that's what makes us human. And so to that end, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I can't change about myself. And then I'll explain whether I embrace it or I focus on other shit. Number one, I can't grow a full beard. So I focus on other shit, like trying to rock a goatee. It might not be that rocking, but it works for me. Number two, I look like a fucking clown when I wear a hat. I focus on other shit, like not wearing a fucking hat. Number three, I have weird monkey feet. I embrace that, and I tell people, hey, I got weird monkey feet. Number four, I tend to ejaculate way too soon. Oh yeah, I said it. So I focus on other shit, you know, like eating pussy, or fingering, or rope work, or needles, or scratching and biting or slapping. Those are the techniques I've got down pat. Because foreplay to me is a big deal. Because if we're just fucking, it ain't going to last that long. Number five, my dick will never be as big as Ron Jeremy's. I focus on other shit. Like, I'm not as hairy as that motherfucker. I probably make a better salary. I'm taller, and I'm more attractive. Number six, I have giant Italian eyebrows. I embrace the shit out of that. It got me a lot of ridicule when I was a kid. But then I spent a long time in the mirror doing this kind of stuff so that everything I say could be emphasized with some kind of eyebrow movement. So if I see somebody in a club, I can just go like this, and they know what's up. Now for the second part of the question, about male enhancement pills. They don't do shit. My favorite example of this is those stupid fucking commercials you see for Extends. And if you think they do shit, let me point out a couple of things where they prove they're not even allowed to say they do shit. Male enhancement. Five years ago, few believed that this simple capsule could make a man larger. That dude just said that makes men larger. Larger how? Larger like larger fucking ear hair? Larger fucking belly? Larger fucking toes? 
what's larger? And let's notice something else about the commercial. Right here it says, this product has not been evaluated by the FDA. That didn't say that it hasn't been approved by the FDA. It said it hasn't been evaluated by the FDA, which means they either didn't send it to the FDA or they sent it to the FDA and the FDA looked at it and laughed in their goddamn faces and said, you got to be fucking kidding me. Extends has sold over 100 million capsules to men of all ages all over the world. 100 million capsules ain't shit. Let's suppose it's 100 capsules per person. That's about 10 million people. Do you know over half the country voted for George Bush a second term? I rest my fucking case. That's because the key ingredient in Extends has been scientifically proven to increase the size of that certain part of the male body. Which certain part of the male body? The male body has a lot of very certain parts. It could be your pancreas. It could be your small intestine. It could be your fucking duodenum. Do you need a larger duodenum? Hello, I'm Dr. Stein founder of the Stein Medical Institute. Oh, the Stein Medical Institute that I've heard of exactly zero fucking times before this commercial. Why don't you tell me about the fucking Mitch Medical Institute where Dr. Mitch could prove he could stick his fucking dick in your mouth. But what about the testimonials, you might say? This made me uh, a heck of a lot bigger. <laughs> What's made you a heck of a lot bigger? Life? Cheeseburgers? Going to the gym? You look pretty fit. <laughs> what, what do you want me to tell you? It got bigger. What's the it that got bigger? Nobody wants to fucking tell you. At no point in the commercial are they allowed to tell you that it makes your fucking dick bigger. They can't even say your penis is bigger. They're not even allowed to say penis. Instead, they say it's male enhancement. And they say that it'll make a man bigger. Or that certain part of the male body. They're not even allowed to say penis. Why? Because in this country, we have a thing called false advertising laws. And you're not allowed to say, your penis will get bigger because of this pill. Because that's false advertising. The FDA cracked down on that a long time ago. My favorite one, though, is coming right up. Things become bigger. I love that answer. Things become bigger. Here's a list of questions I came up with. They would have the same answer. What happens to your body between the ages of 12 and 23? Right. Things become bigger. If you water a plant, what does it do? Right. Things become bigger. What happens to a woman when she gets pregnant? Right. Things become bigger. In horror movies, what does radioactive material do to very small insects? Right. Things become bigger. You see my point? It's all bullshit. So in the end, is cock size matter? Sure, but it's not the most important fucking thing in the world. Everything's important. More important than anything else in the world is what you do with your life and what you do with your personality and trying to be a fun fucking person to be around. Take Vern Troyer, for example. That dude's a halfling from the Austin Powers movies. You know, how much cock you think he's swinging around? Four inches tops? I've seen some of the dude's girlfriends. Because he's funny and he's talented. On the other end of the spectrum, we've got John Holmes, 13 inches of cock. He was a steel mill worker until one day he was peeing at a urinal and somebody looked over and said, hey, that's a nice cock you got there. And they happened to be a pornographer. They tried to put him into porno. Straight porno didn't pay so much back in the day. In fact, it still doesn't as far as men go. So they put him in gay porno at 50 bucks a scene. And he died of AIDS in his early 40s because he had nothing else going except for a giant goddamn cock. So if you think that's the most important thing in the world, by all means, go find a way to fucking stretch your dick out and see where it fucking takes you. It doesn't fucking matter. What matters is what's up here and what you do with other parts of your life. And this goes the same for women. Just because you look down and you go, oh golly, I don't have the biggest tits in the world, doesn't mean that you're a piece of shit by any means. And it doesn't mean you need to go out there and get silicone implants. You work on other parts of your life and you worry about what the fuck you're doing in life. Because if you're an exciting person, everything else is fucking negotiable. I'm Mitch the Expert. Send me your questions, and I'll break it down. Mitch the Expert.